This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by We Use Coins. Dot com. Let's talk about utilitarianism. Or more specifically, utilitarianism and the Riddler Report. Utilitarianism is this philosophy that holds you should do what results in the greatest amount of good for the largest amount of people. The Ridley Report is an attempt to carry out that philosophy. But it works both ways. It's not uh, really a philanthropic thing. For example, let's take a more uh, simple situation. Uh, a utilitarian approach, uh, if, you're, if you, say you say you're borrowing somebody's car, and you're not in a rush, you notice that the gas is at a quarter of a tank. So it would be a good time and a good thing to fill up the tank at that time. But if you're borrowing the car and it's at three quarters of a tank and you're in a rush, it's not good, it's not utilitarian anyway, to go fill up the tank. It's not the, it's not the most efficient use of man hours. So in other words, you're not doing something for someone just to be nice, you're doing it because it'd be, it'd be uh, more efficient for you to do it now than for them to do it later. A smaller number of man hours would be expected and you view their man hours probably as being just as valuable as yours and yours as being just as valuable as theirs. Anyway, uh, you know, the partial adoption of that philosophy is what's led me to not do 15 different types of activism currently. I basically just do the one that I'm well configured to do which is most efficient and that's the creation of the videos. My thinking is that if I put an hour into making a video, that's going to do more good for a larger number of people than, say, putting an hour into standing at a pole with a sign. I did used to do that back when I didn't have something more efficient, but now that I've got something more efficient, I do the more efficient thing. Now, Ian Friedman, on the other hand, the other kind of big media guy in the project, takes uh, a different philosophy, a different approach. I don't know if he's a utilitarian or not, but what he'll do is, yeah, sure, maybe he spends six or eight hours a day on his uh, primary activism, which is his radio show, Free Talk Live. But at some point in the day, he'll also just jump up and maybe grab a clipboard and go out to a, uh, some busy location and try to recruit people's signatures to get someone on the ballot or something like that. Now, he's not getting paid to do it. It's just what he's cho chosen to do with his day. And it probably is about 1% as effective as what he does when he does his efficient thing, right? When he focuses on his radio show, which actually functions properly and, and everything falls into place. That's extremely effective, but he probably, I mean, it, it, the, the results of him going out and petitioning are probably about the same as him doing nothing. Yet, yet he does both and seems to treat both as though they were, you know, pretty important options. For me, I, I just can't imagine doing that. Now, if I was going to get paid to go out and petition, then yeah, I might go out and petition. But it's just, I, I don't know why, why Ian focuses on those kinds of things. Because it, it, for me, I mean, I've put so many years, and he has too, into making something that, that, that is a well-oiled machine, right? I mean, I know that I can produce a video and get thousands of hits on it. I can do it almost every day. I can do it with a limited amount of effort proportionate to the results. I shouldn't be spending a whole ton of time socializing or setting up events or running protests. I, I've done all that stuff back when I didn't have something more efficient to do, but now I look at it as a distraction. We're starting to get, and we need to get, uh, a division of labor in this movement. And we ought to be taking advantage of that. So this works both ways, though. And th what that means is that if you, if you give me a shout and call me and invite me to um, your social event or to come testify at the state house or something like that, I'm probably not going to do it. If you want me to run for something, I'm not going to do that either. Doing that sort of means, you know, to, to do those things would be to abandon all the effort that I've already put into something else, which is grabbing attention for this movement. There's nothing else that we can do that I can think of, at least when I started the report, I couldn't think of anything else we needed 
more than publicity. I mean, we were so desperate for us, uh, for, for it, that some of us were going out and getting arrested to achieve it. Anyhow, the advent and popularity of YouTube has allowed me the chance to just go in and make the publicity for us. But the flip side is, I can't do all the other things. I'm not going to do all the different kinds of activism, and I'm not going to be available to help you uh, in certain types of ways, because I'm tied down on video. Video has sort of sucked all the air out of the room because it's the most important thing for me. Anyhow, just an uh, explanation of why you may not see me doing all the different things that I could be doing. I'm not doing them because it's not efficient. Bitcoins, the world's first practical internet cash. A nightmare for governments to try and control. Inflation and counterfeit resistant. They return you some control over your money. And a new measure of anonymity. A lot cheaper to use than PayPal. You can use them to buy tax-free cigarettes and almost anything else. I accept Bitcoins. So can you. Get started at WeUseCoins.com.